Hello everyone, welcome to Manmaker. I am Ranjit Kumar Kalindi and today we are going to discuss about PL, HLS and SCB exam update. So as you know already admit card out for this exam, I hope you already downloaded your admit card. After seeing that admit card, I know so many people get um, so many doubts and all. I, go, I got so many comments and messages regarding this exam pattern change or this uh, change happened in this uh, uh, for uh, this exam. So today we are going to discuss about all these things about exam pattern. What is the syllabus? How you will prepare for this exam? Where you will get study material? Everything we are going to discuss today. Okay. So first we will see the exam pattern change. Before that, I just want to clarify one thing. Like uh, I got so many messages regarding admit card. Those who are facing to download admit card, I already uploaded regarding this one video how you will download your admit card. And those who missed their application number they can go to official website there two option is there you can directly download your admit card that link is there and one more link is there there you can get shortlisted candidates list okay in that pdf you download that pdf and check through that pdf your name and you will find your application number after that you can go to that uh, download admit card link and put your application number and date of birth you will get your admit card okay uh, so as you seen in your admit card, this rules and instruction, this time they change the pattern. This time they are not going to take interview. This time like pattern is for written test marks, they are considering 50% and for qualification marks in your BTEC or AMTEC, they are considering 50% marks. Okay. So this is the change before whatever exam happened for this HLS okay or oh, before whatever exam happened for uh, not for HLS uh, SVU for other SVU also but uh, whenever PL will take exam for as a trainee engineer or project engineer they uh, they will ask uh, written ma uh, written exam means written test they will ask 85 marks and for interview they will take 15 marks like that pattern was there in uh, this PL but, but this time for HLS they are asking 100 question and a written test okay so I will tell you what kind of question means uh, what from which field you will get the question I will tell you before before that you see this one in your advertisement you already uh, um, means uh, if you go through your advertisement so you will come to know what is HLS actually this HLS department or hls sbu or bl it is purely and uh, they will deals with uh, with hardware software and it equipment operating system lan and some cyber security uh, things they are uh, they are relatable for this section okay so till now till now whatever hls exam happened like uh, in march also 20 march that uh, punjab unit this hls exam happened and before that also two exam happened for this hls in that same uh, like qualification and all are there all branch are el eligible like here electronics mechanical computer and electrical so this three exam uh, they have asked 85 marks question for hls syllabus hls syllabus means this IT and computer syllabus, whatever I mentioned syllabus in previous uh, classes for Homeland Security syllabus. So from this section, they have asked question in the uh, in that previous exam. Okay, uh, whether you are belongs to mechanical, computer, electronics or electrical, syllabus is same for all the branches. Okay. So this HLS syllabus is same for all the branches. Till now, uh, that whatever exam happened, there all syllabus are same for all branches. So based on this syllabus and this that based of previous year uh, paper only, I made that PDFs. Those who purchased that PDFs. So I made that PDF for that uh, for based on previous year paper and this syllabus only because uh, whatever exam happened till now their uh, syllabus is same for all the branches. But 
this time what they are doing they are not considering uh, means they are not taking interview directly they are uh, what they are uh, they will take written test only and they will consider your qualification marks so based on that the test pattern will be now the test pattern you will get till now whatever exam happened for bl either it is for uh, hls or other sbu bl will take 85 marks for written test and uh, uh, 15 marks for interview but this time they are uh, taking 100 question in the written exam okay so here you will get so uh, test pattern you will get 80 question 80 question from your hls syllabus hls syllabus means what hls syllabus means this one uh, whether you are belongs to any branch this this is the syllabus for hls syllabus okay hls and uh, either they will ask question from your hls subject or your core subject whatever your branch is there either they will ask question from your hls subject and your core subject okay and 20 question they will ask from aptitude reasoning and gkgs okay they uh, generally in bl they will ask uh, question from gkgs and current affair they will not ask any question from uh, aptitude and reasoning they will take gkgs and uh, current affair some question you will get from reasoning but they will not ask aptitude question but anyhow it is a 20 only 20 question they will ask so you just little bit recall your these things aptitude reasoning and gkgs all these things you can you also cover and this 80 question pakka they will ask from hls syllabus uh, if they will ask core subject also some question they will ask from core subject and some question they will ask from hls syllabus so this thing you have to keep in mind because this uh, syllabus and what is the um, what kind of subject they will ask they did not mention in the hls based on the previous pattern and previous paper i am telling you this they will ask either hls syllabus or core subject for your um, this written exam so you have to prepare both things you have to prepare for hls hls syllabus also this syllabus also you have to prepare and whatever your branch is there that question also you need to prepare okay now uh, now like uh, those who have buy this pdfs the, uh, those who have buy this pdf just uh, go through this uh, hls syllabus here you will get no need to read any extra thing you have to only this five pdf you have to read for this um, uh, hls syllabus okay apart from that apart from that who belongs to computer branch who belong to computer and it uh, branch they no need to do any extra thing if you have notes if you have a notes thing you can just go through that and this 5 pdf you cover this is enough for enough to crack this exam okay and electronics uh, who belongs to electronics branch they have to uh, finish this for uh, HLS uh, HLS things and that some uh, material I have for TE exam you can take that one who already buy this PDF just message me again who belongs to electronics I will say you some electronics question also now for mechanical and electrical branch mechanical and electrical branch you just go through this because they will ask this HLS pakka and uh, you have to prepare your core subject also okay in core subject what you need to prepare in core subject you have to prepare like they will not ask numerical part question they will generally ask basic question or theoretical question most of the question you will find theoretical question uh, from your branch okay so those who belong to mechanical and electrical they have to uh, means i don't have material for that they have to prepare their uh, whatever notes they have in btech and mtech just go through basic parts don't go that much deeply they will ask basic question okay okay now and uh, those who belongs to computer science and electronics branch you just uh, go through this all these things for computer no need to do extra anything uh, like just cover this five pdfs and uh, your notes little bit you uh, go through your notes and all that much uh, enough for your exam electronics people you can message me again those who buy it already so many people buy that pdf so message me again like i am from electronics branch i will i will share you some electronics materials you just try to finish that one also 
and one more thing if you go in my playlist uh, you, in my youtube playlist you can find uh, tp classes blt training engineer project engineer classes tp classes is there in that you will find 15 to 18 videos you just cover that question from that only question will co uh, cover that video from that only question will come okay so this is all about your test pattern and everything about hls exam so i got so many messages and comments that's why i cleared this doubt for you so just prepare like that whatever i am saying you okay so that much only thanks and best of luck for your exam okay thank you